how many magnets do you need? So I'm going to use the word circuit to avoid confusion with layers. So the definition of one circuit is just like any pair of matching layers like this entire outer layer and this other outer layer come together as one circuit. And the number of circuits is basically ignoring the middle layer if it's an odd cube. So that's these are the middle layers. So you ignore the middle layer and then just divide the number of remaining layers by two and it will give you the number of circuits. So six by six will have three circuits. And seven by seven has three circuits. And likewise four by four that will be like two circuits. And essentially that will more or less classify every even cube together with the odd cube above it. For every one circuit that exists, you need 48 magnets. So for an outer circuit, which is basically anything except for the innermost one on the even cube, uh, so these two count as outer circuits and so on. Every outer circuit will have 24 contact points because like the corner here has one, and then the other side here is another one multiplied by 12 inches, so that's like 2 times 12, that's a total of 24 contact points. Every contact point has two magnets because you need one on each side to attract each other. So 2 times 24 gives you 48. For the inner circuit, which this is just any even cubes middle layer, only 12 contact points. Or you cannot magnetize it the same way as an outer circuit. And that's because like magnets are polar. You need two magnets per face and since there are two faces, and then you have a total of 4 for the, each contact point multiplied by 12 contact points and you get 48. Regardless of whether it's an outer circuit or an inner circuit, you have 48 magnets. And you just take the number of circuits that exist and multiply it by 48 and that's your number of magnets. But that's only the default answer to the story. Things can get a bit more interesting. The GUN 11 introduced a corner core magnet scheme which requires only 16 magnets. At the base of every corner you have one magnet and the core has an opposite magnet. So you have eight corners, therefore eight magnets, and then the core has a the corresponding set of eight magnets. But the thing is this is not the minimum possible number you can hit. Because if you actually magnetize the core such that you magnetize two diagonal spots on the core on, on the top and then you at the bottom you actually magnetize two non-matching diagonal spots. Now you actually have two magnets for every face. So technically, four core magnets, eight corner magnets, you can actually get a three by three magnetized with just 12 magnets. Next, two by two. To keep the hidden middle layer in alignment, there's always one corner that is stuck to the middle layer. So you can tell everything is moving together with this red, green, and white corner. There's really no point magnetizing this corner because it's never going to move away from the spot and there's no need to attract it back to the spot, so to speak. Next, since this corner is fixed, and if you think about the whole 2x2 two two with only one corner fixed and all you have is R, U, and K, B, or, uh, let's just do it like that, R, U, and F from this perspective, you realize you only have three faces to move. So what if you just take one magnet and stick it opposite, like stick it on the core opposite of where the bandage corner is, R, U, and F, like you are only dealing with one magnetic attraction for all three of them, which is quite of it's kind of an equal magnetization. So you only need one core magnet and seven corner magnets, and that gives you a total of eight. Next, for four by four, the outer layer is just going to function the same as a three by three, so that's 12. For the inner layer, this is one thing, one thing that you can try doing, which is, let's say if, if you can drill a hole right into the small internal piece and stick a magnet inside that hole, like right in this foot portion, the location of where this piece is is actually just very close to where the spring and the screw is going to be. So in theory, that's going to attract the screw. Since the 4x4 has 24 of that small internal piece, you need 24 magnets in total to magnetize the inner layer. You add 12 because of the outer layer and you have a total of 36. Finally, for the big cubes, 5x5 five five is exactly the same as 4x4 four four because the only difference is whether the middle layer is exposed or hidden and that's an external difference. But when it comes to internally, the, the foot of this particular piece is going to be exactly the same as the foot of the 4x4 small internal piece. Magnetize a 5x5 with 36 magnets. 
and for even bigger cubes, it's basically a matter of how many times you split this particular layer of the 4x4. So 6x6 will split it into 2, so you have 2 times as many of the small internal piece, 2 times 24 gives you 48, and then you add another 12 for the outer layer. 7 is going to be the same as 6 for reasons that I already talked about. 8 is basically splitting this layer into 3, so uh, you can just count and do the math. 